fly rods and a bunch of geese. We got the two weight with the bluegill panfish fly, maybe, maybe even catch a bass. We got the five weight with the carp fly. I got a couple different colors just in case they're not looking at this one. And we got the eight weight with the big gar pike rope lure. We're gonna see if we can get a car bike too. So it's definitely a mission today. Fly fishing mission on the Colorado River. Amanda dropped me off here at Fisherman's Park and then I'm gonna call her when I get to the Colorado River Refuge. So let's go see if we can get some fish. The wind just picked up out of nowhere. Of course, I'm that lucky. Whew, and we are floating. Ooh, got one. Well, check that out. First species of the day. I'm pretty sure that's a green sunfish. That's a decent little fish right there. Look how big his mouth is. Only like the third cast and I already got one in the boat. Can't beat it. Ooh, there's one. That's a bass. Oh, he came off, dang it. Second green sunfish, right here by this bridge. That's a little guy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Second species of the trip. That guy's tiny. He's fish tank size. Look at that. Those colors though. Golly. There's lots of little fish up there. This is like little fish haven. There we go. He's got red eyes. You see that? Why don't you go out into the main lake? Well, that was kind of cool. Oh, this is neat. Look at this. That was cool. As soon as it hit the water, they're in there. Look at that guy. That one's a little nicer. So that's another thing that's super awesome about kayak fishing is you can actually just paddle to cool areas like this, beach your kayak, and then you can fish all of this. You can stand up, get a good eye of view. I'm looking for carp, I'm looking for gar pike. I'm really looking for any fish. I'm set up to catch all, all fish. I have yet to catch a bass. It's usually pretty good in here. I'm gonna wade fish this. Oh wow, look at this little guy. That is a micro bass if I've ever seen one. Whoa, 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 chill buddy, I'm not gonna kill you. We're just gonna put you back. You're okay. That's a little guad right there.
Ooh, that's a big fish. That's a nice little bass. Look at that. These quads are always chilling up in the current like that. Yes, sir. Got you, little guy. Look how pretty he is. Got a little scoliosis going on, little guy. That's a little bait fish. Oh, this is a cool little stream. I didn't even know this existed. Oh, there's a snake. This almost reminds me of creek fishing in Michigan. But I do have to be careful because that was a snake. I don't think it was a poisonous one. Ooh, there's one. That was cool. I saw a snake, caught a little bluegill. Did not see any carp, did not see any gar. I'll keep my eye open through here on the way back to the kayak. Ooh, there was a fish. I bet you that was a bass came up and ate one of those minnows. Cause those minnows scattered as soon as I walked up here. Let me just do a quick cast. That one seemed like a little, a little bit more decent of a fish. Ooh, there's a bass, a nice one. He sees it, he sees it. Got him. Oh, that was awesome. It's the smaller of the two, but that was so cool. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Oh, he's not done yet. Oh, got him. Yes. That was cool. I saw those two bass just cruising up there. He tried to suck the fly off the bottom missed it and then I threw it right back on top of his head and he got it that was cool just sight fishing him right in these shallows that was super cool you my friend are a largemouth I'm pretty sure oh yeah so we got a guad a largemouth a couple species of panfish so far all on this tiny little white fly that is pretty sweet all right little guy We'll let you get back, get back to cruising them shallows. Cool little micro bass. This looks kind of neat here how it swirls around. Nope, there's one. Ooh, that's a little nicer. Come on, buddy. Come on out. Show me what you are. Ooh, a little bass. Got him. Yes. That's cool, little guad. He was right there where that swirling go is going on. That's a pretty fish right there. What do you got? 
You spit up a dragonfly? Check that out. Little guad in the river with the kayak in the background. All right, little guy, we're gonna let you go. Two weight fly rod. Those little bass like that put up a good bite. That was fun. He even pulled a little bit of drag. That's how that's done. Whew. Ah, so pretty. That was a little bass right there. You seen that? Wow, oh, some of these trees look like they can come down any second. Look at that. Let me turn around and get a good look at this huge tree that's just ready to fall in the river. I don't know how well the GoPro picked that up, but he's got a fish in his claws. That was kind of fun. Hey there, cows. You want to see me catch a fish? Got him. See cows? That there looks good. Got him. This is a lot of fun, these little bass. That was cool. I saw him dart out and get it. Hopefully the GoPro picked that up. That was cool. Yeah, a little largemouth. Check that out. Go back and get bigger. Made it to mile marker five. What if there's any fish under this tree? Probably gonna get snagged up. Don't jinx yourself, don't jinx yourself. Oh, one came out and is looking at it, nibbling at it. Well, there are some little tiny bluegills underneath the mile marker five tree. This is a cool tree though. This looks pretty neat. I'm gonna fish it real quick. Stay put. There's 
some reason, I really wanted to catch this stick. Look at that huge turtle. I wonder if I can catch it. He's not even moving. Dang. That's not a fishing line, is it? Nope, you're good. Dang, you're a big old turtle. What are you doing just chilling up here, trying to get some sun? Well, I will leave you alone. Oh, there's another turtle. I have to get this wet today. Wow, it's heavy. That looks good though, look at that. If there's a garp bike in here, he should probably eat this. There's a bluegill or a bass following it. That's strange. I haven't seen any gar yet. I'm just, uh, sometimes you can't see them until they come out and try to hit your bait. And if they come out and try and hit this, he's mine. Ooh, I just had something bite it. No way. I need to put a hook on it. I think it's just a touch too long. I'm gonna trim it off a little bit. Here's where we exit. Hey you guys, thanks for coming along for the ride. It was awesome. We caught lots of bass, lots of panfish. Didn't see any carp that were feeding, so we didn't get a chance to get any of those. And we got to try out the, the rope fly, but we didn't see any garp pike either. Anyways, I consider this a win. Any bass on the fly rod on the two weight is a lot of fun. So. Whenever I catch bass on the two-weight fly rod, I always consider it a win. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a six-mile paddle all the way from Bass Drop to the Colorado River Refuge. I'm pretty sore, so I'm going to get home, get some, some food, and then go to sleep. And always remember, you guys, to fish, learn, repeat. Catch you on the next one. There we go. That's that's a decent little fish right there. Look at his mouth. So freaking out. Moo.